What's going on guys? TTRX6 here back for another third party review and today we're taking a look at the Toy World Whiskey Jack. This is their legend size wheel jack obviously uh, and it's a very strange third party release because he comes in a brown box that just has a green sticker that says Toy World Whiskey Jack. No instructions, no pictures, nothing. Um, I'm wondering if it's because of the licensing stuff that they went and put on here. I mean, I'm pretty sure all these are official licenses that I can tell. I don't think that they're legally allowed to do that, but I don't think that they necessarily cared. So they put it on there. Uh, yeah, so this is Wheeljack. Inside the box, you get the two guns. Uh, they do just peg together. There is no good place on this guy to store these outside of just Pegging it, pegging it in the roof if that's what you're into. I don't like it, so the guns just kind of sit to the side. As a Lancia, it's a pretty beautiful toy. Uh, he's got all the paint colors you want. He's got all the logos. He's got a stunning black cockpit there. He just looks fantastic. Even the taillights are painted, which is more than some Transformers get. For size comparisons, obligatory Matchbox size Grand National. A GoBot for comparison. And here he is next to the Hot Soldiers Optimus Prime we reviewed a few weeks ago. I think that looks great. There is the New Age Jazz, and I will say these two feel incredibly nice together, even though the Lancia is grossly overscaled compared to the Porsche. Uh, it still just feels nice and looks good. And there is the Magic Square Inferno. So, yeah, the Lancia should be smaller than this Porsche, but it still feels okay. So transforming this guy is easy, no wonder they didn't really give you instructions, none are really needed. You're going to kind of split this down and bring the waist all the way around like that. Split the legs, bring the feet down, and rotate these leg pieces out, just like so. That finishes that. Coming off to the back here, kind of go ahead and split this upwards so it goes to the front. You can unpeg these, rotate the sides of the car in, rotate the arm out and around, out and around. And now this can be just a little tricky because what you have to do is make sure that this hinge closes back up, bring it around, and then that should, with these pieces properly out of the way, allow you to pull the little uh, wings of wheel jack out and it, it needs to see I'm not getting the correct the correct clearance here And you can see there's that little gap there You want to make sure that that's closed all the way or the wings won't clear Proper and then bring these and fold them in and bring them down and they kind of fill out the sides there And there you go. We got wheel jack in his robot mode. You can kind of adjust the wings how you want them What makes them look nice to you? And there we go, he's done. Uh, I will say I think the wings should have been a different color than black. They don't really stand out and they don't look right, but they get the job done. You take your big gun here and you can plug it in on his shoulder. Uh, you can push it all the way in if you want, or I prefer to do the kind of only push it in a little. That way I can kind of have it angled up, which I think looks better. And he holds the gun in his hand. So here's a quick size comparison. We've got the New Age Smokescreen and Bumblebee. We've got the Magic Square Optimus Prime back here and the Magic Square Grapple and Whiskey Jack in the middle. So the one thing I guess that stands out about this wheel jack to me is I feel like he's very much that Magic Square scale. He's not quite as stumpy as your New Age cars, which if that looks fine to you, that's okay. To me, it bothers me that he's out of scale with them. Uh, but as I've seen pictures of the Magic Square cars next to Inferno, this does feel to be about the height that your car gets to the Inferno mold there. So that may be something that you like. Personally, I like the New Age style. Fortunately, if you don't mind it, uh, you can make him a little bit squat, which gives him the, uh, the classics wheel jack and G1 wheel jack syndrome of having huge, huge legs. Uh, and a little tiny body there and uh, that actually puts him at the same scale as the new age and you know what when he's standing on a shelf it's good enough for me personally 
Uh, I like him looking a little bit squat, but I do hope that New Age comes along and does their own, uh, just so I can see how they would appropriately make him look. So let's go ahead and take a look at this guy a little bit closer. You can see all the details do look pretty nice. They translate nicely. Uh, the only thing is the forearm here feels very, very short on this little tiny ball joint. I don't think that it looks terrible, um, but it's definitely a little bit of a proportion issue, I would say. The feel of the plastic is nice, feels good. Again, these should have really been a different color because the black is just... It doesn't look right black. I wish they had painted it silver or something. Uh, who knows? Maybe Repro Labels will give us something that kind of dresses it up a little. Head sculpt is surprisingly competent looking, I feel like. Uh, the eyes actually are painted. The silver is nice. It's nice and clean. They did a good job. So overall, I think it's a good figure. I mean, he's only like $15, and I definitely feel like he's worth that. Whether you're into the magic square scale or you don't mind the uh, quote-unquote stumpy legs to go with the new age scale. Your call, your collection, do what you want. Uh, coming down the foot here, actually, they do have a little rocker on this, so you can get the uh, action shots out of him, which is particularly nice. I think that he's a great little figure. He's an awesome legend, to be honest with you. So let's go ahead and transform him back, and let's get out of here. I'm just going to fold the feet up just because... They probably are going to do that in the process. We're going to unpeg this back piece here. We'll bring these two tail pieces of the car out of the way. Fold the black pieces back just like so. And you can see how they tuck into the back pieces because when you close it, it keeps them locked in place. So you can bring that up. And we can bring it to the other side here. This is going to give us plenty of room to work with this part here. Just kind of fold them up and around. And then the arms are going to end up pegging together on the inside. Like so. And like I said, plenty of room to work with with all this stuff out of the way. Just go ahead, bring that back down, clip it in place. That's done. Bring our feet back to stumpy mode. combine them together and you just kind of flip this crotch piece around and in and everything is back and it's fun and it's quick and it's clean and it looks nice totally worth the money I think Toy World did a great job you know honestly if Toy World went ahead and started making like your other car bots I would consider checking them out at the ridiculously cheap price that this one came out for so this is T-Tar X6 I hope you guys enjoyed the review and I'll see you next time